Assalamu alaikum, and hello YouTubers. Pro2 is here. In this video, I will share with you guys on how to improve the radio reception in your car. When you experience annoying signal drops or interference when you're trying to listen to your car radio, this is one of the signs that show you have a weak FM signal reception. A car radio receives its signals from nearby station antennas, so if you are a long distance away or in a rural area, you may have a weak reception. It can be hard for many radios to pick up a weak signal properly, even in a good location. If the signal reception performance of your car antenna is not good enough, then you need to install a radio signal booster as an auxiliary tool for signal reception. Car antenna boosters are powered units that literally boost the signal by a certain amount before it can reach the head unit. Weak radio signals might become possible to catch if you consider having this. This is the best thing you can do to improve radio reception in the car. The booster will be installed in the dash behind the head unit. In order to take out the head unit, the front cover need to be removed. Remove the two screws that secure the front cover. The two screws are located at the bottom of the AC panel, out of sight. Then, grasp the panel's left and right sides and pull it out. On the back of the stereo, there are usually wires. Disconnect all the wires, antenna cables, speaker wires, and radio wire harnesses. And then, put the head unit aside. This will make installing the booster antenna much easier. With the head unit out of the way, it's time to install the antenna booster. The signal booster will need to have constant power connected to it from a 12 volt source in order for the amplifier circuit to work and be active. Most come with a red wire with an inline fuse, you can connect this to the same red wire the radio gets 12 volts from. The last connection is to connect the antenna plug from the booster box into the socket found at the back of your car stereo near the wiring harness plug. First. We must identify the ignition wire or ACC power line that comes from the radio power supply socket. You can use a test lamp like this to determine the presence of 12 volt electricity. An ignition wire or ACC power line is only active when turning the car key on. To find it, turn the keys to the ACC position, so power was going to the accessory wire line. Next, attach the alligator clip to a known ground and touch the other end to every hole from the socket. If it lights up, you have found the 12 volt ACC line. You can test turn the key on and off to make sure you found the right 12 volt wire. Only connect the booster to the ACC line so that the booster and the stereo will turn off when you turn off the car, and not drain your car's battery. Then, I removed some wraps from the wire bundle, so that I could separate the red wire from it. Used the red plastic plug crimping thing that came with it. Then, Put the red wire from the booster into the clip. Push the crimper thing using a plier to connect both wires into that line. Remember to test with test lamp every cable that we install to make sure everything is in order. All right. So far, so good. Use electrical tape to bond everything together. 
When you apply the electrical tape, you should stretch the tape as you wrap. When the tape is stretched as it's being applied, it will provide more insulation protection than when it is applied loosely. The female booster interface is connected with a male antenna cable. And the male socket of the amplifier is inserted into the back of the head unit. Then, reinstall the radio wire harnesses and the speaker connector. Alright, we almost done here. Test turn on the booster. And then, place the radio into its place and press in into its slot. Overall, installing a car radio booster can be an effective way to improve your radio reception in your car. With the right equipment and installation, you can enjoy a stronger, clearer signal and avoid the frustration of dropouts or interference. So hopefully the video was helpful. If it was, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell for more videos like this, and be sure to check out the links in the description. I link every product and tool I used in this video, so you could easily find them. Stay tuned. Pro 2 DIY Suatu hari seorang lelaki masuk gereja Menanggalkan celana dan melepaskan nombor dua Abraha menjadi runsing dan marah Sediakan tentera untuk menyerang Mekah Use this information at your own risk Any injury, damage, or loss that may result from improper use of any tools and equipment Or from the information contained in this video The user must take responsibility if you think this video helpful for you, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Enjoy cautiously and good luck. Pro2DIY